Hello friends, welcome to IVPS guide. So today is day 31, application sums, average. So moderate five questions we are going to take and hard five questions we are going to take, okay? So if our mission is SBI PO 2019. So if you have not watched day 30 video, please watch that video first because in that video we have talked about the basics of average and we have taken basics five questions, okay? So Also before starting the session, I would recommend you to go through day 1 video and day 2 video because in these videos, we have talked about the tricks and tips that we are going to use in our videos like multiplication, remembering the square root, how to find the square root, square of numbers, cube of numbers and all those tricks you will find in these two videos, okay. So let us begin the session. So we are going to take moderate level 5 questions, okay. So let us read the first question. The average weight of 20 people is increased by 2.2 kg when one weight, main weight 53 kg is replaced by another man, find the weight of the new man. Okay, if you see the question, so the increased weight is how much? Uh, so the base weight is 53, okay. Now the average is increased. So what is the increased average is 20 for one people it will be how much? 2.2 into 20, okay. So that would be how much you will get is 44. So the weight of the new weight of the new man would be 44 that is 797. So your answer would be 1C. 1D sorry 1D. So let us take question number 2 what it is saying. So in a class ratio of the number of boys okay. Ratio of the number of boys to girls is 5 is to 4 and the average weight of the total student in class is 40. Find the average weight of boys in a class. If the average weight of the girls in the class is 10 kg, less than the average weight of the student of the whole class. So, so what we are going to do is, if you see, since they have not given you the exact value of the number of students of boys and girls, so we'll use 5 and 4 as our value. Because in average, it will not matter. So let us take, in average means it is a ratio, so it will not matter. So let us take, sum of 5 plus 4 is 9 what is the average is 40 okay now what is this further given average weight of boys in the class find the average weight of boys let us assume the average weight of boys is a how many boys are there 5 now if the average weight of the girls in the class is 10 kg less than the average weight how many girls weight is 30 and how many girls are there 4 okay so what we are going to do is this would be 360 that would be 120 it is 0, 4, 2, 240. Now if you do it, it will be 4, 8, 48 is your value. So they, this is what they have asked you, okay. So in exam, what you could do is, you can simply write, total is 360, so you could write 360 here, and the average weight of girls is, what is the total, 40 minus 10, 30, how many girls are there? 4, that would be 120. You can find the difference, you will get 4, 240, how many is now what they are asking boys so you have to divide it by 5 so you will get the same answer that is C okay now we are going to take question number 3 let us see what the question says the average weight of Rita, Sita and Anil is 36 kg okay so this is a very good technique which I am going to tell you not technique means a general tip which I am going to take you tell you that is don't write Rita plus Sita in, and Anil okay in exam you will not have this much time so what you have to do is simply take R then Sita plus Anil is how much average is 3 times that would be 108. Now if the average of the weight of Rita and Sita is 32 then their sum would be 64 and Sita and Anil is how much 34 then their sum would be 68. Now if you add this to what will you get this is the sum of 108 that is if you see this S will come 2 times. So, and the sum of RSA is 108, so 108 plus S you can write and sum of this two would be 60, 120, 128 that is 132, okay. Now what you have to do is theta, then you have to subtract. So what you could do, you could do it in mind. So plus 2 would be 110, plus 20 would be 130, plus 2 would be 24. So where is it? It is in B. So your value would be 3B, okay. So as always, this question is a homework for you. You can write it as homework. Please go through, try to pause the video if you are watching the video. Take down the problem if you, and try to solve this problem. 
in your notebook or if you couldn't do it in your mind it is better then write the answer how you did it and your approach okay so please do attempt this problem this way you show that you are serious about the exam so let us take question number five what it is saying average number of chocolate distributed in a class of 40 students is four how many students added newly if each of them gets two chocolates okay initially they were getting four now they are getting two okay so decrease is two and how many students were there 40 so the total is 80 okay so this is the number of student new students new students initially there were 40 so how many student added so if you find the difference so we will get the value to be 40 okay hope you are understanding the problem so your value would be 40 so you could mark the answer to be d so how you could do in normal method this is how this person is going to do it will take hardly 5 to 10 seconds okay i'll teach you how you could do in lengthy method so if you see the sum of this would be number of chocolates are constant if you know okay that would be 40 into 4 okay and again how many students are added suppose x are added and each gets 2 so you have to multiply it with 2 that is 160 this is 80 no need to write 160 even you can cut this out that is 80 that is 40 plus x so x would be 40 so you don't want to be this so you want to be this so please follow this method so let us take hard level of questions what the first question is saying is the average salary of the whole employees in a company is rupees 300 per day the average salary of officers is 800 per day and that of clerk is 240 per day if the number of officers is 30 then find the number of clerks in the company so i would show you two approach to solve this problem the first method is using ratio and proportion so let us see how we could do using ratio and proportion the average salary of all employees is 300 and so what they are asking find the number of clerks so we could assume clerk to be x so 300 officers how much they have given you have they given you yes 30 that is 300 that is 30 plus x now what they are asking average salary of officers is this much so 800 into 30 plus what they are asking the clerks so let their salary be x uh, one month there 240 into 240 okay this is the number of clerks so let us see how we could solve this this 0 and this 0 will got cancelled everywhere now what you have to do is 900 0, 0 plus 30x okay this would be 2400 0, 0. now this would be 24x so what we could do is take x here that is 6x that would be 11 plus 4 would be 15 1500 now let us solve further that is 2 times that is 500 that is 250 so your value will be d so this is one method i'll show you another method so we are going to use mixture and allegation method i would recommend you to follow this method because you'll get the solution very faster so what you will do is so if you see the average salary of whole employee is 300 and the average salary of officers this is officers this is clerk officer is how much 800 and clerk is 240 okay now what you have to do is 60 now what is this 500 okay if you see the ratio would be 3 is to 25 now what they are ask, saying is if you see the number of officers is 30 so to convert it into 30 you have to multiply with 10 this will be 30 to multi convert into you have to multiply here also 10 that will be 240 so this is very straightforward and you will get the answer very quickly okay now we are going to question number two let us see what the question says the cost price of 10 books and 5 notes is 84 and the sum of the cost price of 4 books and 2 notes is this much find the cost price of 2 notebooks and 2 books and note okay so we will denote books by b and notes by n okay so how you write 10 b plus 5 notes is equivalent to this is the average let's read the question properly this is the average okay average how many are there 15 so into 10 would be 840 half of that would be 420 0 6 1 2 6 0 okay we have got this now let us see what is the next the sum of the cost price of four note four books and two notes is sum there it is not the sum please most of the student will see average here then it should be average also here but it is not the case it is sum here 
So what you have to do is is 504. Now what they are asking? Find the sum, the cost price of two books and note. Okay. Now you have to use your brain very nicely. If you see two note and this. Now most of the student what they will do? They will try to find out the value of B is what and N is what. Then they will put the value and get the answer. But you don't have to do that. So what you will do is two B and and what you have to do is just divide this entire equation by half. That would be 2b plus n, that is 2, 5, 2, 252 is your value. Where is it? It is in b. No, it is in c. So you could take the answer to be 2c, okay. Let us go to question number 3. A student marks were wrongly entered at 64 instead of 44, due to which the average marks of the whole class got increased by one third. So the increment is one third was wrongly entered as 64 instead of 44. So what is the change entered as 64 is changes this much due to that the average of the whole class is increased by one. So it is increased by one. So what you'll do is this one value is equivalent to 20. Okay. This one because it is wrongly entered. What is the change in difference in the number is 20 and the increase to be equivalent to the increase that is 1 is equivalent to 20 this is the increment that is 1 is equivalent to 20 now they are asking about the number of students in the class you have to multiply it with 20 that is 60 okay so your value would be 3b so this question is also homework for you so please solve this problem okay solve this problem and give your solution what is your format is this much and what is your approach okay so hope you will get the solution because this way you will be indulged in the video and you will try your own effort to solve the problem and prepare for the exam properly okay let us go to question number five what it is saying is the average of five consecutive odd numbers is this and the highest odd number is minimum in another set of seven consecutive find the sum of the five consecutive odd numbers if the average of the seven is 30 so what they are saying is average okay this x is not of use to you so what you could do is average of five consecutive odd numbers let the number be x x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus 6 and x plus 8 if you don't know we'll take our consecutive odd numbers as this because if you put here one you get here one I'm giving a sample you can put here any odd, num odd number I'll put here one if you put here one it will be five again if you put here one it will be five seven nine okay hope the picture is clear to you now let us see what it is saying in the highest odd number average is this much okay in the highest odd number is minimum number in another set what is the highest here is x plus eight this is the minimum in another set of seven consecutive numbers okay seven consecutive numbers they are saying so let us assume this number to be y y plus one y plus two y plus three y plus four y plus five and y plus six okay five is this find the sum of the five consecutive odd numbers if the average of the seven consecutive odd numbers is 30 now how many numbers are there seven so you'll find the average of this to be if you know the same number is there you don't have to write it calculate and again do it if like one 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 is there then somebody ask you what is the average of this this will be one only so this will be y and you have to what is the average of this that is 3 6 10 15 21 divided by 7 that is 3 this is equivalent to and this is equivalent to 30 that is y you will get 27 okay so the value of y is 27 now this is equivalent to now what they are saying this x plus 8 the highest odd is minimum in another so this highest is equivalent to this minimum we have x plus 8 to be 27 you don't have to write all this I'm showing you that you will understand okay so this is 27 then this is 19 x value we have got to be 19 what you have to do is now they are asking the sum so let us see how many x are there 1 2 3 4 5 5 x x is 19 now add this that is 14 18 20 okay 19 5 ja 85 95 100 that is 19 into 5 is 95 okay because 95 then 105 115 your value would be 5c 
so hope this concept is clear to you and you have understood all the problem if you found the video knowledgeable give it a like give it a thumbs up okay and please comment how you feel about the videos if you like it say you like it and if some changes are to be made say those also okay and do share with your friends on all the social media websites like Facebook and Google Plus and also on WhatsApp so that your friends may know that we are creating videos for them and do subscribe to the IBPS guide channel and also before going I would recommend you to please practice mocks these are very important okay these are very important and also practice the previous year questions this is also very important and practice the question and answer the question which I have given you so more better content okay so please try to solve the problem and give the option whatever option you get okay so bye bye see you in the next session